The story revolves around an overweight and clumsy science professor named Sherman Klomp. He is well liked by his students and peers but his clumsiness gets him into a lot of trouble. One morning, he walks to his work at the Wellman College to see it being overrun by more than 5,000 hamsters. The infestation grows so bad that the rodents start getting inside people's pants and into their sandwiches, causing chaos everywhere. The animals are lab hamsters who were somehow let free. On investigating it is discovered that the previous day, Sherman's protruding belly had a button that opened the cages without him knowing. When the problem is contained, Sherman goes to his favorite experimental hamster, Shelly, who is also overweight. Sherman and his team have been experimenting with a formula that reconstructs the DNA of an obese person to make them lose weight easily and quickly. The serum was used on Shelly, and the results say that the hamster lost 3 ounces in only a day. This proves the efficiency of the product. To find out more about its nature, Sherman's lab assistant Jason suggests increasing the amount Shelly is fed, but Sherman thinks it could be dangerous for the animal. After that, he is called to the dean's office to discuss the incident with the hamsters. Sherman is informed that because of the incident, the science department has lost most of its funding. A man named Harlan is the school's last remaining alumnus, who is planning to donate $10 million to the college. The dean warns Klump to be careful with his experiments, because they are not in the position to lose their last alumnus. During class, Sherman's protruding belly rubs off the board, much to his students' amusement. He notices it and laughs with them. After that, a new teacher named Miss Carla comes to greet him. She is a chemistry graduate teaching a class across the hall. Sherman is instantly smitten by her beauty and kindness. She reveals she is a huge fan of his work and has always wanted to meet him. Later that day, Sherman meets his family for dinner, all of whom are overweight. He recognizes that they have a problem but his father takes pride in being fat and unhealthy. After noticing Sherman takes small amounts of food from the table, his father claims that he can do everything in the world, but losing weight is not one of them. The man also has a very bad habit of randomly passing gas to the point where he defecates himself. Although Sherman finds it absolutely disgusting, his father does the procedure religiously and in front of his family. When he leaves to clean his pants, Sherman's mother Anna senses that he is hurt by his father's words. She makes him feel better by declaring that he is beautiful inside out. Sherman is motivated by her words to ask Miss Carla out on a date. Right after, he goes to her house to do so, and to his surprise, she accepts immediately. They decide to go to a place named The Scream on Friday. Sherman returns home with the biggest smile on his face. He dances around, overjoyed about finally landing a date with someone he likes. While watching TV, he falls asleep and dreams of making out with Carla on a beach. But, while they are at it, she gets buried in the sand by his weight. Sherman wakes up in horror to the host of the TV show, yelling, Yes I can. He repeats the words and is motivated to lose weight one way or the other. For the next few days leading up to the date, Sherman goes to Zumba classes, the gym, and acupuncture sessions. But he still has a lot of work to do to reach his ultimate goal. The couple goes to a club on Friday and has a great time for the first half of the date, but then, an insult comic named Reggie comes to the stage for a stand-up comedy show. He makes fun of the audience's appearance, one after another. When he gets to Sherman, the comedian gets an easy target. He drags Sherman down to filth with his insults, so much so that Sherman gets teary after the performance. Following the awful date, Sherman takes Carla home. To make him feel better, she tells him that he is a brilliant man. Sherman thanks her and returns home, disheartened. Alone and depressed, he starts to binge on junk food, disregarding all the progress he has made in the gym for the past week. Eventually, he dozes off and has a nightmare about having a heart attack. On the hospital bed, he grows into a giant and breaks out into the world. His single fart destroys the city and wakes him up from the nightmare. 
Sherman now has had enough of his obesity. He knows that if he relies on exercise and healthy food, he will give in to the temptation every time. So, he decides to use his lab serum on himself. At midnight, he goes to the lab, prepares the medicine, and injects himself with it. Initially, the experiment is a disaster as the computer glitches and his heart rate increases. When Sherman passes out, a message displays on the screen saying that the DNA reconstruction was a success. The next morning, Sherman wakes up and is startled when he looks in the mirror. He has become a fit young man, unlike himself from the previous night. He almost cries on seeing that he went from cup C to cup A, and cannot believe his eyes to see his genitals for the first time in years. Unable to control his joy, he runs outside, shouting to the world to look at him. The first place he goes is the shopping mall's spandex section. As you do, he wears clothes that complement his body and models in front of the mirror. The following day he is working in the lab, when Carla comes looking for Sherman, she doesn't recognize him because of obvious reasons. Sherman also doesn't want her to look at him as the old overweight person that he was. Hence, he invents a random name, Buddy Love, and introduces himself as a lab assistant. He also flirts with her and asks her out on a date to the club. Initially, Carla is reluctant, but she agrees to go when he persists. As they talk, Sherman's fingers start to swell, indicating that he's about to retransform to his older self. He quickly excuses himself before she catches him blowing up. Later, Carla meets Sherman and tells him about Buddy's proposal. Sherman encourages her to go and pitches on how good of a man Buddy is. In the following scene, Buddy arrives at the club in a sports car that he would have never been able to fit in prior to the transformation. He and Carla enter the club together. As per usual, Reggie is welcomed to the stage for a show. This time, a confident Buddy throws insults back at the comedian, giving him a taste of his own medicine. By the end of the night, they get into a Yo Mama joke battle that Buddy wins. An enraged Reggie tries to attack him for stealing the show, but is, in turn, slammed into the piano. The crowd cheers for Buddy, along with unimpressed Carla. They share a kiss and a romantic moment together. But, right after, Buddy's bottom lip starts to swell. He makes an excuse about it being an allergic reaction and rushes outside. At the same time, Sherman's lab assistant Jason happens to be at the bar. He notices a waiter handling Sherman's card, but is told that the card belongs to Buddy. He assumes that Buddy stole the professor's card and follows him to his car. To Jason's surprise, he catches Sherman mid-transformation with a heavily swollen lip and expanding legs. When he is fully transformed, the assistant realizes what is going on. Later, Sherman has to be cut out of the car when he becomes too big to use the door. The next morning, Sherman is very late for a class because of an uneventful night. All the students have already left, but an angry dean is waiting for him. He confronts Sherman about the sports car, which Buddy bought on Sherman's faculty account. The dean forgives him for the extravagant spend, but threatens to strangle him to death if he messes up one more time. He has set up a meeting between Sherman and the college's alumnus Hartley. Sherman has to convince Hartley to fund the weight loss serum project that he is working on. Later, Sherman meets Carla and asks her about the date with Buddy. She seems to be confused if she likes him and is unsettled by his behavior. Sherman dismisses the conversation and asks her out on a second date to dinner with his family. Why would he do that? She happily agrees and meets them all at his parents' house. The family asks her intrusive questions about their relationship, most of it relating to sex. Carla is visibly uncomfortable, which adds up when Sherman's father repeatedly farts. After the disastrous dinner, Sherman walks Carla home and apologizes on behalf of his family. Carla wants to know more about Buddy and is hoping that he will call her back. Sherman realizes that he can only be with her as Buddy and transforms into him once again. His assistant Jason is not happy about the transformation. Every time Sherman takes the serum, Buddy's testosterone level rises exponentially, making him rowdy, unlike Sherman. If this continues for a long time, Buddy might take over Sherman's body as a new man. 
Jason tries to stop him, but Buddy tricks him and runs away. That night, he lands a date with Carla yet again and takes her to a hotel. At the same hotel, Harlan is waiting for him to present the weight loss serum idea. For the sake of the college, Carla wants him to take Sherman's place and pitch the idea to the alumnus. Buddy does as told and explains the serum to him by sexualizing the girls at the restaurant and flirting with them. He takes all the credit for Sherman's work, which Carla thinks is outrageous. Buddy doesn't care about what she thinks because all he wants is to be with a girl. Carla storms off after he dismisses her for the other girls. The dean gives Sherman's position to Buddy and asks him to give a final demonstration for Harlan at the alumni ball the following night. Buddy spends the rest of the night wildly partying with several women. By the morning he is transferred to Sherman and is confused as to how he is with the women on the bed. Buddy's presence is harming Sherman's memory and rationality, almost as if he has a multiple personality disorder. Carla arrives shortly thereafter and finds Sherman with the girls. She thinks Sherman is just as unfaithful as Buddy, to the extent that the two of them share women. Following that, Sherman goes to the office to find out that the dean has fired him and given his position to his alter ego, Buddy. Sherman doesn't know what he should do next. At home, he accidentally activates the VCR and finds out that Buddy has left a message for him last night. In the message, he taunts Sherman about his boring life and urges him to take the serum and change himself forever. The taunt only motivates him to destroy the serum altogether and never let Buddy surface again. He and Jason go to the lab and start destroying all the serum samples. Sherman takes a sip from a diet drink, unaware that Buddy had filled it with the serum, knowing that he could be in danger of vanishing. Because of the trick, Sherman turns into Buddy again and runs to the alumni ball. After he leaves, Jason sees the computer flashing a warning message that says Buddy's testosterone levels are at a lethal high. If he takes the serum again, he may kill Sherman altogether, and Buddy will permanently exist in his place. Meanwhile, Buddy makes a grand entrance to the ball, catching everyone's attention. He immediately begins to demonstrate the effects of the serum to the stunned audience. His half-bulked-up body surprises everyone. As he is about to drink the second dose of serum to end Sherman forever, Jason arrives and stops him. Buddy's arm suddenly bulks up and tries to choke himself. It turns out that the arm is Sherman, fighting for the rights to his own body. Eventually, Buddy is unable to take the serum on time and transforms back into Sherman. Everyone in the audience, including Carla and his parents, are in shock. Sherman explains that the experiment was initiated to help people, but it turned into something that it shouldn't have. He has come to terms with the fact that he should accept himself, whilst trying to work harder for a healthier body. Thinking that he has been a disappointment to everyone, he attempts to leave, but is stopped by Carla. She asks him to a dance, proving that she liked him for his inner self, not his body. In the last scene, we see them dancing, all night. Hartley decides to give Sherman the donation, claiming that he was touched by his speech, and although the experiment failed, he is a brilliant scientist.